Hi everyone and welcome to chapter 7 on thinking language and intelligence. Now this chapter covers three topics and you might wonder how are these connected? Well they are connected but they're also connected to the material we've already learned. So in this class we've learned how our brains work to help us think, feel, and act. We've also learned about sensation, how we experience information in the external world, what we see, hear, touch, taste, and smell, and how our brain processes that so we can perceive it. Then we learned about how we can learn, right? How we can form associations about things and how we can remember information for the long term. So at this point, we've talked about all different ways that information can get into our minds. And now we're going to talk about manipulating that information. Once we have internal representations in our minds, we have to do things with them. That is what makes us uniquely human. So if I say a word to you, like cat, what do you think of? Right now, do you see an image? Do you see the word cat? Do you think of it in another language? Perhaps you speak Spanish and you think gato, or you think about an experience of a cat, or maybe you don't like cats, so you have a feeling. Whatever you're doing when I say that word cat, that is a thinking process. So we're going to be focusing on this thought process. How do we manipulate information in our minds? How do we pro problem solve about it? How do we make decisions about it? And all of this is bound up with language. So a lot of the ways that we think incorporate internal language in our mind in communicating about ideas so that other people can understand them as well. Okay, so that's thinking and language. What's intelligence? Well, intelligence is also tied up with thinking because it turns out if we can think very clearly and very appropriately, some people might view us as being intelligent. And one big part of intelligence is being able to manipulate information to creatively solve problems and make decisions in ways that show our intelligence over time. So have fun with thinking language and intelligence this unit, and we're going to start to focus on applying it to our lives as well. Okay, I look forward to seeing your great thoughts soon. Bye-bye.